In question 8 we're given a triangle ABC and there's a point D which lies on AC which essentially cuts this triangle ABC into two individual triangles and we're asked in part A to calculate this length here. So we should be able to recognize that what we have here is a right angled triangle. Here's the hypotenuse which means that this length squared by Pythagoras this length squared plus that length squared equals that length squared. So AD, the length we're trying to find, squared plus 10 squared equals 15 squared. So that means that AD squared will be equal to 15 squared minus 10 squared. That means that AD squared equals 15 squared which is 225 minus 10 squared which is 100 so that means that AD will be equal to the square root of 225 minus 100 is 125 and that will give us correct uh, three significant figures as the question asks for it that will give us 11.2. Now in part B we're asked to calculate the size of angle BCD. So BCD. So we're asked to work, calculate this angle. If we look at the parts of this triangle that we have, we have the high, sorry, well let's label them out. So we don't have, but there's that's the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. We're trying to work out this angle BCD, so that makes the length that is opposite the angle we're trying to work out the opposite. And therefore, by default, there's an adjacent side to that angle, which is this one here. So what do we have? We have the adjacent, we have the opposite, and we're trying to work out this angle. So we have O and A, and remembering so toa so we have the opposite and the adjacent so we'll use tan so what that tells us is that tan of that angle C will be equal to 10 over 12.5 so that means that the just coming up here now the angle C will be equal to the inverse tan, and again you'll just do this on your calculator, of 10 over 12.5. And that correct to one decimal place this time is 38.7.